Hi, welcome to A Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Epic Monster Cards. These are more of the D&D &D in Monster Encounter whatever cards uh, by Gale Force 9. Um, I, I, you know, I already got the monster card set for challenge 0 to 5, 6 to 16, and then the creatures and NPC cards, which I found very useful. However, there were many that had just a generic symbol. I'm hopeful with these being epic monsters. Most of them weren't. Of course, the reason there was the generic symbol is because many of those didn't have art in the books. Most of the high CR monsters should, so I'm, I'm guessing a less generic symbol this time around. Um, and thus far, each of the decks has had some just normal playing card sized cards and some double width cards. Uh, and by doing that, they have had all of the game statistics for all of the creatures that they've included, which has left them not including some of the usually higher challenge rating creatures. Um, because things would be cut off. It needed more space, and this is the answer to that. An even bigger size card. So, uh, let's get things started here. There's like the Tarrasque right on the front. Yeah, so 77 oversized, durable, laminated cards. And there's this thing. I'm guessing there's an easy peel since there is this band around. Looks like it starts here. But am I able to get to it? No. This may have this easy peel stripe, but it did nothing because I couldn't access it, so I had to cut it anyways, but then there we go. So These are the cards. Let's compare in size. Actually, a little bit narrower than the double width ones. Um, yeah, in both directions. So, a slightly, uh, but otherwise, they're a square, basically. Um, and there's a bunch of them. Generally, the idea is I will. Two minutes, geez. Not a great sign as I split it and have to be easier to hold. Uh, but um, basically, if we look at it, this is the general layout. If you've not seen them before, name of the creature, you know, whatever, what type of creature it is, alignment. General statistics, actions, legendary actions, where to find it in case you want to pull up, like, stuff about its culture, challenge rating, experience, uh, what book it is in. I guess it's less relevant, but in general, I'm going to just kind of go through, because the actual game statistics should all be there, as I kind of look as I go. Like, there's one that's full. Do I see anything where it says to reference the book? On the beholder. It does not say so. But largely the idea being to let you see what is actually included. Because that's been... Okay, I just want to take a second here. That one totally would have fit on a normal double card. So yeah, sometimes it's like, what's actually included in here? Because in the past, it's kind of been somewhat random. <laughs> hmm. Um, two ancient black dragons. Two ancient blue dragons. No, no. Oh, okay. I get it. It's not. Nope. 
I just can't read. Ancient adult. It's just the same art, which I prefer, rather than them saying, well, this is what it looks like as ancient and having no art for the other, so, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> but it was just really weirded me out at first. But yeah, so ancient and adult for each of the dragons, basically. And yeah, seeming to have a lot of art. Yeah. Lots and lots of dragons. Which, I mean, it is Dungeons and Dragons, so it'll be nice to actually finally have those available. Got our dragon turtle. Another one that I think really could have fit on a smaller card. Uh, Empyrean. The Kraken. Lich. See, Mummy Lord. They could have just used the normal mummy art for Mummy Lord, at least. Oh. Andro Sphinx. Kiano Sphinx. The Tarask. Which I haven't paid attention if others are, but it's like going over its border. <laughs> but yeah. Tarask is a big boy there. Unicorn. Okay. And I think this, above all, says that they're going to have all of the statistics on the card. Because if the vampire took up more space, they moved it to the front of the card. Which means that, you know, that's obviously not as easy to use as a to show your players. Although, admittedly, a vampire is not one you're necessarily going to need to be. And it looks like this. Uh, so, not so bad. Um, but I do appreciate that they are making sure. It's like, okay, if we can't fit it on this size card, we're going to do this to make sure we can fit it. That, that, I'm, okay, so I'm, I'm glad and I am now convinced that, yes, they do have all of the statistics on all of the cards. And, of course, some of the creatures are from, like, this one's from Volo's Guide to Monsters. I'm getting on to our second pal here. We have the Elithilich. Uh, the Elder Brain. Another one that has to go to the front of a card. Like, for the most part, many of these, um, like, the bigger creatures tend to be what I, you know, like, I'll use the cards as bookmarks in the larger creature, but, like, I get, you know, as a campaign comes to an end, eventually I'll be, uh, needing to use multiple of the big, you know, big monsters at once, uh, and then some from Morgan Titans, so... For the larger monsters, they, they've done that. Um, so another one without art. Oh, uh, yes. I guess they might have ordered, put them in order, because we're at the beginning of an alphabet, so they might have like specifically put things from the other books later on. But yeah, we're getting some of the big demons and devils. Orcus. Hello, fire engine. Yeah. So, if you have, like, especially because Mordenkainen's had a bunch of these big ones. Mmm! Not, not the biggest fan. They had different art for Zerial when they actually, like, did Mordenkainen's. Uh, and then afterwards, when they did the adventure, they did a redesign. I liked the original art better. Um, so not, not super happy, but oh well. <laughs> I suppose that is the art that is more well-known. So 
Another one with that art. Leviathan. Phoenix. Uh, again, Phoenix is one of the ones I'm not super happy with making it this super legendary elemental. I like Phoenixes more as like a bird, but you know, they did what they did. <laughs> I can I can design my own Phoenix if I want to just have it be like Fox. <laughs> Oblex. Skull Lord. There we go. So, not very many of them lacked art. As I said, generally most of them there was going to be art in the books for them, uh, being the more epic monsters. Um, I was really happy to see... Uh, the few that they, whatever, that they'd split. You know, when they're like, we can't fit it, let's make, you know, they they really took to heart the idea of making sure all of the statistics were on the card. They put that above the idea of being able to do this to your players. And I appreciate that very much. Because that, that makes these the most useful for me as a game master, knowing that if I have the Drow Matron Mother... And, you know, she's, you know, partnering up with some other monster and I ever you want to use her as a bookmark in the page. I don't have to go find her page. There aren't like, oh, no, the legendary actions didn't fit. Go to the other page to see those. No, it's all there. I can just flip the card over much easier, much more useful for me. I am very appreciative of that. Um, and there were, you know, a few that didn't have art. But most of them did. Um, definitely, uh, the cards are getting larger and more unwieldy. Um, but, of course they are. They needed more room for most of them. I was kind of surprised. Because there were a few that as the back of the card got flipped over, I'm like, there's a lot of blank space on there. That could have fit. I don't know. Maybe they had just forgotten. Because uh, when I got the whatever, the creature and NPC cards one, it felt like there were a few in there that maybe they'd just forgotten. Maybe they'd forgotten some of them, like, oh, we'll just include them in this, it's fine. Um, or maybe, I didn't think to check, maybe some of those were above challenge, like, 17 and above, even though they didn't have as much detail. And so even though they didn't need the space, they were just a challenging enough creature that they'd get a bigger card, because the other, like, the highest monster cards only goes up to 16. So that could be it. I didn't think about that until just now, as I'm looking at the other decks, and I'm like, oh yeah, that had a name. That wasn't just the next chunk that we decided to make. It was a challenge rating bracket. Although, of course, some of these fit within those other, like, challenge 13 for the vampire, but it just needed so much space that it got skipped. So, um... Yeah, that's the epic monster cards. Um, sure, I will continue to collect as I go, because I have found these useful at the table, and uh, that works well for me as a game master. So um, I'll link down below where you can pick it up online. Of course, you can probably still find them at your friendly local gaming store. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.